So I wrote this today as an act of love to all the participants in the Will to Adorn component of this festival, all the folks who came over to that area, and all of you who got dressed to be here. Spirit, answers, and aesthetic. We are the portal. We call up the magic we need with color, with cut, with custom modifications, with accents, with attitude, with amulets. We wear costumes to become ourselves. We are superheroes hailing the powers that made us. We are fashioning our bodies into one statement, recognize. We are singular, but never alone. We carry multitudes in our hair, our hemlines, our heat. You are wearing something an ancestor would recognize. We are provoking the airwaves to repeat their wisdom. We are dressed for the possibility of dancing across time. We are avatars of awesomeness. We are more than you can see. Look at the person next to you, in front of you, behind you. We are the poem moving in four directions at every moment. We are the changing rhyme of what it means to be human, hewn in hue. Look at the person behind you, across from you, diagonal. How is it that you match and clash and contrast? How is it that you mean more because they are here and tactile and textured so? Adornment is adoration, crystallized and incremental. We love to be embodied. We brighten, baste, and bask. We answer and we ask. We love our scripture skin, our God antenna hair. We love ourselves in a different way every day, and that is the poem we make with our walking choice to turn cloth into voice, to turn sidewalks and halls into runways. We love ourselves enough to change our clothes and our communities. We love ourselves more than the stories fear would catch us up with. We wear our resistance well, we wear it out, we wear down description, we walk up walls, we dress for a future with falling walls because we cannot be contained. We die and the next day we stain, we transform and we remain woven together. We are dressed for futuristic weather where our names reign as they should, where our masks molt off for good, where our naked oneness is more than enough, but then we still would make more dope stuff to call down the magic we are, to beckon the truth from afar. We are the prayer that fills the air. We are the practice. We are the promise of not being first but lasting fantastic. We are the altars for the tradition that triumph begets because look, look around you and try to forget. We are dressed for the most powerful poem you have ever met. <laughs>